Truth unveiled. Harden clears the air on Maury's liar remark about trade situation, not contract. NBA investigation update. Hold on, let's dig into this a bit. The NBA has been looking into what James Harden said about Daryl Morey, the boss of the 76 ears, calling him a liar. A report by Shams Terrania of The Athletic gives us some clues. So if we trust what Harden spilled during the investigations, he might feel like he was fed some lies. But the main point is, the 76 ERs didn't break any rules set by the NBA when it comes to deals and contracts. Here's the deal. Harden signed up for a big $35.6 million paycheck for this season, all while telling the 76 ERs that he wants to be traded. And guess where he wanted to go? The Los Angeles Clippers. Now, the real question is how much Maury really tried to make that trade happen. People are debating that. But what we do know is that the 76 ERs had talks with other teams about trading Harden. Yes, even the Clippers. Maury put a high price tag on Harden, like asking for an all-star player or a bunch of good players and picks in return. And when you add in the fact that Harden's contract is almost up and he's looking to cash in, other teams didn't offer much. They weren't willing to meet Maury's high asking price. So, the 76 ERs spilled the beans that they're done with trade talks and that Harden will show up for training camp. Then, bam, Harden drops the bomb that Maury's a liar. Now here's the scoop. None of what went down breaks the NBA rules. What would have been a no-no is if Maury or someone from the 76 ERs hinted to Harden that he'd get a fatter contract later if he took a pay cut last year, which he did, saving about $14.4 million. The NBA looked into that and found that Maury and the 76 ERs were a bit too eager when it came to talking to free agents P.J. Tucker and Daniel House. They contacted them before they were supposed to, but they didn't do anything shady with Harden's contract. Get ready for some drama in early October when Harden is supposed to show up at the 76 ERs training camp, but he might cause a fuss. Some say he won't even bother showing up, but the NBA rules make it seem likely he will, or else he might mess up his chance to be a free agent next summer, if he skips more than 30 days. This situation is looking like it's going to get worse before it gets better. But don't hold your breath for the NBA to punish the 76 ERs. It's not likely to happen.